Woods on third and 14. Marino's pass is complete to Clayton. Mark Clayton up the middle, breaks it to the 40-yard line, and a Dolphin first down. Clifton had to chase him down as Clayton came across the middle for 25 yards on Marino's first pass of the day. Right the first down. He catches the ball well short of it on the right side of the screen. You'll see Clayton make this catch. Now he's going to break a tackle. Where are the rest of the Jets? There aren't any other Jets. You need to have gang tackling in pursuit. Jensen in motion. Marino's pass intercepted. Intercepted by John Booty, who brings it back to the Dolphin 35-yard line. John Booty with his first interception of the season and only the third Jet secondary member to pick one off this year. Found some. He's been hobbled by a pair of sprained ankles. O'Brien's first pass complete to a wide open Werner is tight in who chugs his way forward close to first down yardage dragging Langford and a junior with him. Third and one for the Jets. Hector fights his way forward for first down yardage. There's a late flag that goes down after Hugh Green made the tackle for the Dolphins. It'll be a hold though against New York. So on third and 11. O'Brien chased from the pocket, buys some time and dumps it complete to Newbert. And Newbert out of bounds just short of the first down marker. And Russell in. Hector spins and didn't make it. Great tackle by Paul Langford, who came up from a corner spot and spun Hector down short of the half yard he needed. The Dolphins Jets series dead even at the moment, although the Jets are looking for a sweep this season, having won at Joe Robbie 40 to 33 in week two. And the Dolphins in the hunt in that AFC East. Can so Miami takes over with a first down after the Jets went for it on fourth down and couldn't convert. There's Banks with a catch for a first down. Marino, as calmly as can be, loads and fires to Banks for 15 yards and a in 50 yards and a backfire. Here's Sammy Smith. Smith cuts up behind some pretty good blocking. Uh, blocking twists his way to midfield. Troy Benson makes the stop on Sammy Smith last couple of weeks. And Smith again with some good yardage. Probably enough for a first down as he bangs into jet territory inside the 45. Davenport, big hole across the 40 down to the 39 yard line where Eric McMillan and John Booty combined to get him down besides running the football and they have had good balance five rushes five passes so far plenty of time for Marino across the middle good coverage by the Jets but Clayton does manage to make the grab with Kerry Glenn wrapped all over him somehow Miami with a first down at the Jet 32 Marino goes downfield and Clayton's got it for another Miami first down. This one to the 18 yard line where Bobby Humphrey runs him out of bounds. I knew that you would spec it out. <laughs> for the end zone, Marino's pass too long intended for Andre Brown. Hasty was covering on the play, but Marino's pass too long. Marino now is five of nine for 63 yards and an interception. Sequel, the backup quarterback, is the holder, and Stojanovic misses it. Stojanovic is wide and the Dolphins drive all the way down the field and come up empty. Still scoreless at the Meadowlands with 6.21 left. Pressure. Marino loses it. Eric McMillan causes the fumble and the Jets recover. Well, McMillan got down in a three-point stance on the left side of the line of scrimmage, a defensive right for New York. Draw play. McNeil with his first carry. Play more than anything. <laughs> Here's a third and four. O'Brien has a man wide open, Hector, but he is unable to get enough yardage for the first down as Lewis Oliver, the rookie free safety of the Dolphins, came up in a hurry to prevent, prevent the first down being made. And this time, Joe Walton on fourth down is going to elect to go for the field goal. And Ryan in there holding now. Ryan will hold. That's his first hold. And Leahy out of that hold splits the uprights. Pat Leahy, the
the veteran in his 16th year kicks a 38 yard field goal and the New York Jets after the Marino fumble get the first points of the game a minute 19 left in the first quarter and the Jets go on top three nothing Bell is deep for the Jets as Roby is on for his first punt of the day averaging 42 and a half yards a kick Let's this one sail downfield. Townsell all the way back to his 35. Looks to get outside and has finally stopped at about the 45 yard line. Good field position again for the Jets. Farrell Edmonds downfield to make the stop for Miami after the punt covered 52 yards and Townsell was able to return it seven. O'Brien pitches to McNeil and looks to pass and then decides to run to midfield and into Dolphin territory to about the 47 yard line a gain of eight or nine on the play before Junior and Offerdahl recover to stop Freeman McNeil here they failed on two earlier short yardage plays fourth and one and third and one now a second and one and a handoff it's to Hector and Johnny Hector does pick up a short yardage first down for New York their first first down of the game Brian Soche, the nose tackle, makes the stop for Miami. Three tight ends, Newbert, Werner, and Dressel for the Jets. McNeil shakes one tackler, cuts up, and got uh, a good gain on the play after the defense led by Jeff Cross got some penetration and disrupted the play. Third and four. Play action pass. O'Brien with time. Spots his man for a first down. That's Townsell that makes the catch just short of the Dolphin 20. Play action. O'Brien wide open to Townsell inside the five. Langford and Offerdahl recovered to prevent the touchdown, but not in. They'll go to the air. In time. O'Brien can run it in. And did he get in? No hit at the goal line and driven back by the veteran linebacker E.J. Jr. O'Brien says, didn't I get in? They wrestle three tight in. Try to go to the outside. Not there. Hector is thrown back for a loss on the play, and it was E.J. Jr. and Lewis Oliver that came up to prevent Hector from getting the corner and getting less than the yard he needed into the end zone. And the chip shot splits the uprights to the boos of this sellout crowd. The Jets came close, couldn't punch it in. Their lead now 6-0. Craig Galbraith at right guard for Miami. Plenty of time for Marino here, and it's picked off. Intercepted by Kerry Glenn, and Glenn just stepped in front of Mark Clayton, and Marino has been intercepted for the second time today. Nine yards on that last carry. Six nothing Jets. Seven minutes left in the half. Roger Vick on his first carry rambles to the 10 yard line. Tight ropes in for the touchdown. Roger Vick with a 26 yard touchdown run, and Walton's team adds to its lead. Don Shula trying to get Marino and his offense on track. Zip. We'll take a look at the reverse angle of this replay or of this play. Vic cuts it back. Watch the offensive line and the defense of the Dolphins. They all go the other way to the right, and Vic takes it to the outside and just outruns Oliver, the rookie safety. Now watch him tight rope down here. Looky here. How close is he to out of bounds? Is he going to get in? Well, he's in for sure. Verge of as the uh, short kick is taken on the bounce by Dave Ahrens, one of the linebackers of the Dolphins. Third and ten for Miami. You see the time left in the half. Marino. This time he has his man for a first down to the 35-yard line. Fred Banks makes the catch for 21 yards before Kyle Clifton can make the tackle. Marino goes down back at the 42-yard line. Gerald Nichols, the man that was all over him, he is the backup in that defensive line, but he leads the Jets in sacks field goal. 45 has been his longest this season. There it goes, and it will be
Pete Stojanovic with a 59-yard field goal. Go back on offense. Johnny Hector. Good run by Hector. He got about eight yards, seven or... Roger Vick, who scored the touchdown on the last jet possession, picks up a first down here across his own 40 to the 43-yard line. Soche and Williams on the tackle for the Dolphins with the offense so far. Well, it's what have you done for me lately, and lately they succeed. O'Brien drills one complete for a first down to Greg Werner. Werner split Lankford and Williams and was able to make a first down catch. That's only his fifth reception of the season. Are we going to start a campaign now? Yes. Okay. Here's the pass complete to Vic, and he's got some running room. Vic to the 25-yard line. The line with their hurry-up offense. O'Brien with a deep drop. On the outlet to McNeil. To the 10. extra point is good and the New York Jets extend their lead to 20 to 3. Ken O'Brien on his way to another big day against the Dolphins. He has hit eight of his first nine passes. A pass protection from the reverse angle here and you'll see O'Brien cannot find a receiver. Now McNeil at the top of your screen is slipping out. He's free. O'Brien's able to come back to him and 58 Barry Krause just doesn't have the speed to catch up to the speedy running back McNeil. Excellent pass protection led to that safety valve receiver, Freeman McNeil. It's a low kick taken on a hop by one of the upbacks. And across the 40 to the 42-yard line. So uh, special team coach of the Jets, and he is disgusted with this field position. Well, we know Marino can strike in a hurry. There's a pass to Jensen into Jet territory down to the New York 48-yard line with Kyle Clifton on the stop there. Timeouts remaining. Hurry up offense by Miami. Marino across the middle, complete inside the 20-yard line to Scott Schwedes. 17-yard line. Marino has a man again. It's Schwedes dodging tacklers to the 6-yard line. Hasty and Knight spin him down. And Jensen standing next to Marino. Marino to the goal line and in. Andre Brown with a touchdown catch. Brown with his fourth touchdown of the season. It covers seven yards. And Shula's Dolphins strike with time running out in the half. Marino's going to look over there and find Brown, who just runs a little in pattern and gets away from 48, Bobby Humphrey. Well, we see another jet on the ground there, but open. Well, we expected an offensive show and things beginning to heat up here at the Meadowlands. Miami has scored on its last two possessions, 10 points. The Jets have scored on their last four. Well, the New York Jets taking advantage of Miami turnovers, finally get their offense on track and sprint to a 20-3 lead. Miami comes back with some quick Marino passes for a touchdown just before halftime. And as the teams walk into the dressing room, it'll be the New York Jets on top. High scoring game expected, and more points obviously coming up in the second half. These two aren't done yet. 20 to 10, Jets lead at halftime. Dolphins, nine times on first down, they've handed the ball to Sammy Smith. This time, Marino will pass. Under pressure, he goes deep. Gathered in by Clayton, and he'll score. possessions and who's to say they're running on first down didn't help out this pass protection Marino puts the ball right on target number 48 Bobby Humphreys in pretty good shape but the pass is just excellent right there Clayton with his fourth catch for 125 yards and that touchdown here's how he beat Bobby Humphrey but he's just going to separate right now he's gone He's not going to put any moves on him. He left Humphrey at the line of scrimmage, and then Marino's right there with the pass. Similar to a route that Clayton wrote, uh, ran earlier on Hasty, but Hasty was able to keep with him stride for stride. From the shotgun, Marino on a second and nine. 
His pass to Banks, wide open for the first down. Fred Banks spotted the first down marker, went a yard behind. That's 211 for his career. It takes over sole possession of the 11th place all time in the NFL. Pass complete to Nuufa Aola, the former Jet, who kept second and two. Smith cuts up. He's got the first down. Nice run by the rookie there. Jeff Logaman, another rookie, makes the stop for the New York Jets. Third and six for Miami. Shotgun formation. Double wide receivers either side. Quick pass. Jensen has it. Short of the first down. 52-yard attempt. How do you figure? <laughs> Hit from 59. Miss from 52. And before that, from 34. Throw. This is second and 10. Hector. thrown back no gain now the Dolphins come with seven defensive backs and the Jets have four wide receivers in O'Brien's pass too tall too wide I should say for Burkett O'Brien wants the flag and didn't get it Brown Schwedes Clayton and Banks in for the Dolphins who handed Jensen and Jensen is to the 30 yard line with a first down as they run from the shotgun for 13 yards Hampton Lorenzo Hampton to the 35, a four-yard gain for Hampton, who carries for the first time today. Just shotgun, double wides to either side. Marino across the middle. It's complete. Scott Swades in a foot race. Touchdown. Penalty markers down in the end zone. Swade celebrates a 65-yard touchdown reception from Dan Marino. Late, very late, he pushes Swade down. Here you see on the outside, a safety blitz now. Swade just makes the catch, and at the end of the play, you'll see 42, John Booty, come in here and push him down. And I mean, he's in the end zone, and this puts the Jets in a box. Coming into today's game, he's caught three now for 108 yards, including that 65-yard touchdown grab. Walton had the lead early and now his fortune sinking he falls behind for the first time 24 20 O'Brien across the middle intercepted Judson finally tackled from behind by Keith Newbert as William Judson on the deflected pass Gets the interception. Day's position. Marino is a little upset because he threw a bad pass that time. He threw it behind Hampton. 50% on the day for Marino. Over 300 yards. And three touchdown passes for him. In nine of the last 12 games against the Jets. Looking for one more. Banks. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. Banks wasn't good enough. Or lack of fancy yeah. footwork. We'll see if that left toe touches the ground. Now here's one foot down. He needs another one down inbounds. Yep, yeah, I see some green in there. That's his clothes. You see green? <laughs> Reset it to 13 seconds. Sammy Smith. Touchdown. First touchdown of the season for the rookie out of Florida State. Sammy Smith carries it over, and the Dolphins extend their lead. Baola, the ex-Jet. Here he kicks out at number 25, Radichowski to safety. Now Radichowski has to take outside position first, but the rest of the Dolphins walled off the inside. The pursuit of the Jets couldn't get there until it was too late. Here we see another look at it, and you'll see Bobby Humphrey, 48, and Kyle Clifton, 59, just getting over there way too late. Now have seen the Dolphins score 28 in a row. Ken O'Brien has missed his last five passes. New England Patriots. This reported this week and not eligible to play today on the inactive list. O'Brien's pass to Townsell, close to a first down. But I can't see Eason winning this job uh, to Ken O'Brien now. Brian with a first down pass complete to Al Toon. Toon hasn't seen much action today with those sprained ankles. That's his first catch. They tell us his left ankle sprain is worse than the right. I still think he's a quality quarterback, but he's not going to show it this season. Pass 
complete to Newbert, the tight end. Thrown back, he'll be close, though, on forward progress to a first down as Cleveland or Buffalo, New England, followed up by a delicious dessert of a doubleheader game. It's from the 42-yard line for the Jets. O'Brien gets rid of it to Hector, and Hector's got a first down. No, excuse me, Vic. Roger Vic into, into Dolphin territory with a first down at the Miami 45-yard line. Chased down by Judson and Kraus. Vic, who scored a touchdown earlier. Ken O'Brien with a first down. Play action pass. Steps into the pocket and delivers it. Flag down. It could be interference. Buddy around there. Uh, excellent blocking back there for O'Brien, but I don't know. We're only guessing on what the penalty would be. There's Toon going up, and he doesn't seem to be interfered with. It's going to be a hold. Holding defense number 58. From the Dolphin 40. <laughs> O'Brien complete. Burkett with his first catch of the day. Chris, fourth and five. Townsell, Toon, and Epps at wide receiver. O'Brien's pass complete. Toon has the first down. Has two bad sprained ankles, yet he makes his way right to left across your screen. Outruns Judson and makes the catch. Al Toon is not feeling well, folks. Those ankles hurt him, but he's giving it his all. We can find out. Well, we didn't see about all of them. Well, we see Hector, though, fighting his way inside the five. Liebert, Werner, and Dressel. The give is to Hector. Tripped up and tackled for a loss. Back to the five. John Offerdahl, the Pro Bowl linebacker, making a key play for the Dolphin defense. It's a 22-yard attempt, and it is up and through. So the Jets kick a 22-yard field goal, and, and there are some Jet points drawing boos from the home crowd. 10.02 left in the game. Dolphins have 73 yards rushing in the game. Five of this handoff to Smith, who breaks it big to the outside. Four tackles in the game. Marino's pass to Hampton. And Hampton has it for another Dolphin first down into Jet territory to the 48-yard line. Smith met at the pass and somehow gets away, but they blew the uh, play dead. Scott second to... Timmy Cofield in the NFL Strongest Man competition. Renzo Hampton for the Dolphins. Marino seldom sacked with that quick release. That pass is tipped and almost intercepted. 76,000 on hand. And the Jets once again for the second drive start at their own 16. O'Brien completes a pass to Al Toon, and he's got a Jet first down. As they trail by eight, Less than six and a half minutes remaining. Play action. O'Brien completes it short to Newbert. And Newbert has, I believe, enough for a first down. It'll be close. Eaton. O'Brien trying to direct the Jets into the end zone. His pass is complete. Townsell out of bounds deep in the Dolphin territory at the 27-yard line. With the league's leading rusher, Christian Okoye, injured today, Galore doing the job. Here's a pass, O'Brien to Werner, the tight end, and he's got a jet first down inside the 15-yard line. John Mounts. Protection breaks down, and O'Brien is down. Second sack of the day for the Dolphins. Offered all in cross. Got her in 19 for the Jets. Intercepted by Thomas of the Dolphins. Pull over for being shown here today. And the Miami Dolphins completing a pass here for a first down to Jensen. The Dolphins finished a poor season last year and had come on to be a playoff contender in 1989. And as you see the telecast, without the express written consent of the New York Jets and the National Football League he is prohibited. This game, the property of the National Football League for the Most Viable Player Award, sponsored by Budweiser. And today's MVP is Miami quarterback Dan Marino. Budweiser will make a contribution to the United Way on behalf of all the MVPs selected in today's game. Marino directing the Dolphins 
to a lead and perhaps another win to remain a game behind Buffalo in the AFC East. Thanks to Lorenzo Hampton. The Jets are out of timeouts. So the clock will just tick away now. And you know, this last week, go into Philadelphia. Hold the Eagles to a field goal and win at 10-3. Werner, another Jet first down, but stays inbounds and the clock continues to roll. He's in keeping the clock running. O'Brien wide open again to Newbert. Newbert is down to the 27-yard line. Brian Soche has had a great game defensively for the Dolphins. He limped off a couple plays ago. They have to hope he's not seriously hurt. There's an interception as the Dolphins put an exclamation mark on the end of this victory over the Jets today as Don McNeil picks off the pass. There is a penalty marker down. The season, the Dolphins come to the Meadowlands and extract some revenge from the New York Jets as the Miami Dolphins come from behind to win this one. At one point of the game, they were down by 17, but they scored 28 unanswered points to wrest the lead from the Jets and then hold on to win it by eight. Final score from the Meadowlands, 31 to 23. The Dolphins over the Jets as the Dolphins win for the sixth time this season.